It's 9 p.m. in RTD. It's time to English New Edition for tonight's headlines. Uh, we have uh, Antonio Guterres salute President Gilles leadership uh, in fight against uh, COVID-19. The interim ministers visit uh, quarantine centers for migrants. Uh, For the international scene, a new coronavirus uh, may never go as uh, World Health Organization explains. Welcome to our newsroom. The UN Secretary General uh, praises uh, President Gilles' leadership in fight against uh, COVID-19. The Secretary General of United Nations, Antonio Guterres, in a letter addressed to the President of the Republic, His Excellency Ismail Omar Gelle, paid a vibrant tribute to the government of Djibouti in the context of the E4 dedicated to COVID-19 pandemic. In his uh, tribute uh, address yesterday, Tuesday, to the head of state, the Secretary General of the, Nations, of the United Nations praised uh, the mechanism and actions put in place by the Republic of Djibouti to mitigate the impact of the coronavirus he described. The screening policy, which has recorded the highest per capita screening rate in the region as an efficient tactical legitimacy to avoid a mass spread of the pathology, active follow-up of contact, and other pillars of practice adopted by our country with a view to identifying all persons who have had close contact with contaminated cases was also defined by the Secretary General as a judicious uh, methodological approach, uh, the United Nations will continue to be a strong partner of government of Djibouti in effort to mitigate the spread of uh, COVID-19, noted Antonio Guterres, the United Nations Secretary General, took advantage of this letter to express the health state, to the health state of Djibouti the gratitude of the international community for its generosity welcome a large number of migrants of and refugees fleeing wars and disasters in this part of the world. Prime Minister Abdul Qadir Kamil Mohammed has uh, chaired the meetings, uh, uh, the late morning meeting of the steering committee for fight against COVID-19. This meeting was attended by the Minister of Communication, Radwan Abdullahi Bahadur, the Minister of Foreign Affairs, Mahmoud Ali Yusuf, the Minister of Housing, Amin Abdi Aden. This uh, restricted meeting of the steering committee for fight against uh, COVID-19 was devoted to the presentations by the Minister of Housing of the situation uh, in the construction sector, which was the first sector to be deconfined in Djibouti. For her part, the Minister of Housing, Ms. Amina Abdi, the, uh, thus exposed the recovery of the sectors which had been paralyzed until then because of uh, COVID-19. The Secretary General of the Ministry of Health, Dr. Saleh Benoita Turab, has uh, made the press uh, briefing of the situations of COVID-19 in our country. For, the, for today, uh, 223 tests were carried out, 16 positive cases, Five uh, cures, all in all, sixteen thousand six hundred ninety-seven tests performed. One thousand two hundred eighty-four positive cases. Nine hundred nine hundred four five cases are confirmed cure, and uh, three uh, diseases uh, stay at home. To reduce the spread of uh, coronavirus, especially within the two days of the containment, which may prove uh, risky with the reception of population movement. The containment, which may prove risky with the reception of population movement, it is more than necessary to observe, uh, to reinforce measures to control COVID-19, and this on all levels explain this large format. The recommendation is to be followed concern both public health management uh, and uh, the behavior to be adopted by the population when returning to work in Djibouti, the almost majority of cases are asymptomatic, uh, hence the, ris the high risk of uh, contamination in hospital, 
That's why it is important to screen all patients who go to a health center and follow up in order to avoid the spread the virus in their community. It is imperative that medical staff wear masks and all times within the hospital in terms of sensitization the Minister of Health must strengthen its uh, community release and uh, train them to raise awareness on the practice and respect of uh, barrier gestures uh, within the framework of the response strategy against COVID-19. The Minister of Interior, Mumin Ahmed Sheikh, uh, yesterday went uh, to the uh, delegation led by the Minister of Interior in the sectors of uh, our AUSA which is uh, creating a quarantine center for a land migrants crossing our southern borders. Uh, the minister was accompanied in his trip by the Ethiopian ambassador to Djibouti, by the prefect of the Al-Sabih city, Musa Adam Migane, executive secretary of ONAS, Hussein Darar Hassan, Hussein Hassan Darar. The quarantine center is, uh, this quarantine center for migrants is managed by ONAS in collaboration with the National Police, Elizabeth Prefecture, International Organization for Migration. All migrants who cross our borders will go through this site to be tested and treated for cases, detected positive cases for close and housed in these quarantine centers during the 14th uh, day of treatment period and will be repatriated to their countries of origin safe from the pandemic. Uh, the Ethiopian ambassador appreciates uh, the support and protection provided by the Djiboutian government to Ethiopian migrants. Uh, the Minister of Labor in charge of Reform Administration is uh, Isman Ibrahim Roble, chaired of working meetings uh, with the representative of economic operators in the sector most affected by COVID-19 pandemic, uh, led by the president of the Djibouti Chamber of Commerce, Yusuf Musa Dawale, the tourism sector, particularly travelers agency, hotel and some restaurant, uh, are the most affected by the decline in activity due to COVID-19 crisis. The minister assured of his availability and the government's constant commitment to provide adequate uh, response uh, to uh, support the sector most uh, vulnerable. Uh, during this meeting, the president of the Chamber of uh, Commerce uh, and the representative of the sector uh, expressed uh, their thanks and uh, satisfaction uh, to, with the support of and financial backing granted uh, by the government to the private sector. They also requested target support uh, according to the sectors. Uh, The Parliamentary Commission is for the accompaniment uh, and monitoring of high, uh, of that the fight against COVID-19 began its talks with the Ministerial Department involved in the national response uh, to the pandemic chaired by Dr. Ahmed Roble Abdile in the presence of his colleagues, the Minister of Health, Abdul Karim and the, in the, the Minister of Health, Mohamed Wabri, and uh, in the last part of the morning, uh, the Minister of Labor, Isman Ibrahim Roble, who was received by the Parliamentary Commission, uh, the invitations of the n national representation aimed at providing adequate information on the epidemiological situation that has recently struck our country. At the end uh, of the fortnight, uh, the Commissioners of Support and Fight Against COVID-19 uh, held various meetings with the member of government on topics uh, relating to fight against co coronavirus. Firstly, member of parliament, uh, member of commissioners and the chairman, um, the chairman uh, Ahmed uh, Robli Abdile asked the member of government, the minister of social affairs, uh, Muna, Ahmed, Muna Osman Aden, and about the inventory modality and balance sheet of the distributions. Uh, officials made the minister of so provided details characterizing had the action is that the Ministerial Department in charge of social affairs, uh, then the Minister of Finance uh, and his closest uh, collaborators before the meetings, the Minister in charge of decentralization, Hamadou Mohamed Aram, is the main lines of discussion is concerned. In uh, particular, the interventions and coordination carried out within the framework uh, of the distribution of public aid in the region of interior. Within the framework of the second 
phase of uh, electronic interconnections project between the Djibouti and Ethiopia throughout the southwest of countries, and in particular, Galafi local information and the consultation meeting between the project expert, the local authority of the various peripheral localities, and the civil military authorities of the region of Tikhil region. Uh, was held the day before yesterday's morning at the head of office of the Dikhil Prefecture and uh, the meeting chair by the Prefect of the region, Mr. Adam Dral Musa. This meeting was aimed at the start of second phase of major project electricity interconnections of our dear neighbor Ethiopia to our countries and the one hand to sensitize the, consult the customary chief and other influential people through the route of uh, electrification lines in uh, Dikhil region. In Ali Sabih region, is the hospital uh, Ahmed Absiye Warsama officially resumed its initial activity after the discovery of a large number of cases of COVID-19 in Ali Sabih. Uh, Dr. Ahmed Absiye Warsama's hospital, uh, the premises and pavilions of Ali Sabih region, regional hospital serve as a quarantine center for COVID patients management center for the region. The reopening ceremony of the hospital was attended by the prefect of the region, Mr. Musa Adan Migani, and the regional director of the hospital, Mr. Mohammed Suge Ainan, of the national police officers. A network of young volunteers uh, to raise awareness uh, to bar gestures against COVID-19 is still in, from, in the framework of uh, the sensitization against COVID-19. Uh, the network of young leaders mobilized yesterday to invest the district of uh, Wahle Daba and Sheikh Musa, the city, Mecca city, and Ingla and Riyadh market objectives was to advise residents to respect all hygiene and prevention precautions while distributing masks and gloves. Uh, the operation is also carried, uh, consisted of training volunteers in each neighborhood to disseminate preventive messages and instill good habit. The young volunteers uh, motivate and determined to clean up the environment to fight this disease uh, is a, a good sign of citizenship to must be preserved and sustained. The president of the Wahedaba Annex, LPP Annex, uh, uh, Mara Musa, recalled uh, that this operation is, uh, was uh, preceded last week by a large disinfection campaign carried out in the various districts of Djibouti City, Siversons, in the other remaining district of the uh, capital. For the international scene, the, the new coronavirus may never go away. According to World Health Organization, coronavirus responsible for COVID-19 may become endemic and may never uh, completely disappear. World Health Organization warned uh, on Wednesday as the death of tolls approached 300,000 worldwide the new coronavirus could never disappear and become a disease that humanity will have to learn to live with. The World Health Organization is uh, warned as the global death tolls approaches 300,000 uh, on Thursday at times when countries are beginning to gradually lift the restrictions uh, imposed in attempt to curb the epidemic that broke uh, out in December in China. The World Health Organization has sent an alarming message. This is it uh, for the news. Thanks for watching us.